And just like that, the next episode has begun, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Ace Attorney Dual Destinies. I'm your host, Mega Shadow Fist, SK Video Games, SK Commentary. Do the more. And when we last left, I wonder how many times have I burped in the intro of this series, or like any of my series. Anyway, when we last left off, we were talking to Hair yeah, Guitar Player over here about Hair yeah, Statues. <laughs> As you can see here in the stage plans. Right here, we have the statue of me. And right here, here a white statue. But little does that matter now, as we both as we both lie in pieces thanks to you, hair forehead. What did I ever do to you? Actually, this statue broke in ra into rather large pieces. Why don't we try to put it back together? Maybe we'll learn something new. Hmm. Picking up the pieces of a shattered rock star. Akhtun! That's one uber cool idea. There might even be a song in there somewhere. Yay! Let's do this! Schnell! <laughs> yeah, <laughs> is this an investigation or am I interrupting a German language club social event? Schnell! Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and examine. You see, if we had... <sighs> I keep making JoJo references. Uh, we'll, we'll get to uh, Miss Whatchamacallit um, Scuttle, but last examine. They probably won't even let us examine it. I don't know. This is this is fine for a rock concert, but the nighttime sky is backdrop of a court for a courtroom. Personally, I think it's breathtaking. I mean, speaking the truth of the starry sky, don't you think it's romantic, Fraulein? And the waning crescent moon crep, um, represents the maximum three days trial cycle. Wait, no, that's not a. If we're in the northern hemisphere, that's not a waning crescent. That's a waxing crescent, because, um. In the north, it's it's reversed in the southern, but in the northern hemisphere, um, the right side, the right side means that it's waxing, the left side means that it's waning. So this, yeah. What are you, Clavier, did you not go to astronomy class? Three-day trials outdoors? No thanks. If it, start, if it starts raining, my, my hair will be ruined. Anyway. It's a bit too far away to get a good look. Maybe we should try a different angle. At least I'm pretty- like, yeah, right? Like, unless I just randomly forget the phases of the moon already, but yeah. That's not a- that's not a waning crescent, that's a waxing crescent. <laughs> Examine. The winner of the mock trial was to take the training seminar right here! And it doesn't- like, you can't even say that's like a bit- like a Japan-US version difference, because both Japan and the US are in North- are in the Northern Hemisphere. The winner of the mock trial was to t was to take the training seminar right here. You mean Hugh and Hugh and Robin? Yeah. Besides besides Junie, they're the only ones who could move freely around the campus. Before the mock trial, that means before the mock trial, that means one of them must be the killer. But that's not really enough to go on, is it? We need to talk with Juniper one more time and persuade her to give us a name. Right, and that means we have to find irrefutable evidence before the day ends. There's no time to lose, but we can't rush it. E rush it either. Efficiency is the key. I wonder if they're gonna say anything about uh, Miss Scuttlebutt over here. I said we're gonna wait till the end, but wait. You don't think this weird box here is? Sss, hands off! I knew it. I know that voice anywhere. Let's just ignore it. I mean, it made its wishes glad and clear. <laughs> so this is the future cardboard box technology has afforded us, huh? So actually. Sir Sepleted actually told me, so, when, um, so, like, when, um, Scuttlebutt gets nervous and, like, stuff falls out of her, um, box, you'll see, like, a laptop, like, a laptop's, um, fall out of her box. On that laptop screen, there's a picture of her, um, there's her, Juniper, Woods, Hugh O'Connor, and Robin Newman, like, all standing together, like, smiling, like they were friends at one point, so that was interesting. Okay. The body's gone. All that's left is a white outline. I never knew Professor Court personally. I never knew Professor Court, Court, Court personally. But seeing her reduced to a white outline leaves me cold inside. But in a way, she still is on in the messages she's left behind. Like the, stra like the strange way her body was posed and the signs of her wrist being bound. You're right. Let's use her final messages to catch her killer. 
I was gonna make a joke like, yeah, you, you feel cold inside, but she's also pretty cold too, huh? <laughs> yeah, but that was in, probably in poor taste. Examine. There's even a prosecutor's bench here, here on the stage! Ah, the memories, Fraulein. As a former rock star and a prosecutor, the prosecutor's bench has taught me much about human emotions, passion, and fight. I can picture it now! You have your silvery singing voice and a pool of sweating bullets! Uh, That's not too far from the truth, actually. Hey, how about picture me wedding once in a while? Considering, hey, like he's like he he has not lost to a Paul, uh, to um him a single time. You know. Alrighty then. Examine. It's a copy of the school paper with that story in the alleged love triangle. I wonder if people really waste their time reading this stuff. S that's more popular than you think. What, what was that? I just heard something just now. You're just hearing things! It was nothing more than your ears playing tricks on you! But aren't you uh, Okay, I guess we have a little bit more to examine. Oh no! Prof Prosecutor Gavin! You're a complete wreck! Literally! Why in the world would someone do something like this? I don't know, but whoever did it must have felt an amazing sense of release. Can I take that as a confession here, forehead? What? No! I felt bad for Robin. She worked so hard on these. Let's pick up the pieces for her. You get it. Let's check every corner of the stage then, yeah? Okay, let's see what else we got here. For a random piece over here. Found one! A piece of Prosecutor Gavin's shattered pride! Are you saying my pride is as fragile as a plaster of Paris? It looks like there are other large pieces scattered about. Okay, let's find what we can! Purple fragment added to the court record. A purple fragment from a broken statue was found all alone in the strangest of all pl of places. The question was, though... You know where I'm going with that, Lady Nolman. Don't you? That's it, though. Do we pick up these pieces? No. How do I... Okay, there we go. Oh, there's a piece over here. Examine. Found another piece of the statue! But there should be- there should still be some more. Let's leave no stone unturned. Really? A large white fragment is, uh, whatchamacallit? Leave no sto to stone turn unturned. That's an actual figure of speech, but that's just the game being silly. We're not really being silly, but being punny, if you will. Where are the- Uh, let's see, hold on. Uh, who to pass- Whoa, the pass clean with... What does that say? I want to see it! Xan, can we... Ah, I want I want to read it! I want to read it! Let me read it, game! Maybe, like, I'll get, like, a split second where, like... Ah! We can't read it! Ah! Anyway. Wait, was that a... No, that wasn't a piece. Where are the other pieces? I mean, I know there's like the blue, th like, do we like, I was what to call Phoenix the statue, the blue thing. <laughs> do we examine the blue thing, or... What? No, there's a piece here. I see. Examine. Found another piece of the statue! Uh, Alrighty then. Let's see what else we got here. Examine? Oh, I like the- oh, I like the view! The judge can look down on everything from up here! Yeah, not bad for a temporary stage. Hmm, is that so, Mr. Justice? Heh, <laughs> your judge- your judge act for the mock- Heh, <laughs> your judge act for the mock mock trial? I don't know why, but it kind of creeps me out. Wrong answer again, Mr. Justice! A penalty for our mock tr for a mock lawyer! That is not funny! I love how they made the sound, too! They made the sound, too, uh, of him getting punished. A penalty. Look! There's your rival over there, Apollo! Who, Prosecutor Gavin? We battled out a few times before, but I wouldn't call him. No, not him! I mean this- I meant the speaker over there! They can output massive blasts of sound that rival your chords of still! I have better things to do than compete with the speaker, so just forget it. 
Well, I don't have a feeling like he's gonna end up competing with a speaker one of these days. <laughs> this game, these games do weird foreshadow like that, so... What? I'm gonna examine this. Oh, that's because there's Transformers more to meet the eye or something? What else is there? I don't see anything else. But like, it was like... But like, they were acting like it was... Like, you see... Uh... I don't know. Move! There we go, examine this. The other statue Robin made, it's been smashed to bits! If there were some larger pieces, we might be able to put this one back together too! Yeah, but all I see are tiny, or uh, itty bitty ones. I wonder what Mr. Wright would think. If he knew we put Prosecutor Yava statue back together but left his like this, we can always check, we can always come back to it after the case is solved. I'll help you fix it. And that's all she wrote. Oh, there's a piece here. Found another piece! Is that it? Is that really not it? Come on! There's no way! What am I missing? Ah! Can we even attempt to put it together? A large wife has a distinct shape that that could be described as angular. Three purple fragments of a broken statue that originally stood on a pedestal on stage. Get off your high horse. Get off your pedestal for a second. Uh, um, I don't know what else. Like, there has to be something in this vicinity or. I don't know. I don't see anything else. Hmm. That'd be interesting if we could see- wait, hold on. Uh, like, you see that- you see how there's a circle there? It's making me think that there's something here. But I can't see anything else. What is going on right now? They built a wooden stand too, even though it's just a temporary stage. Oh, but I think they're still working on it. Let's see what this what this notice says. Caution! Pedestal features a high-speed rotation mode. Activate with care. You mean this thing spins? Hmm. I wonder if. Hold on. No, I don't see anything there. Yeah, it seems like that's everything, though. I don't know what I'm missing. Do we just put it together now? Are you kidding me? This looks like another piece of the statue! Thanks, Apollo! This makes five pieces in all! I think we have all we're going to find! Okay, let's get back to where Prosecutor Gavin was shattered. I think you might want to reward that. White frag of its updated the court record. Alrighty then. Well, I don't see any another big piece any other big pieces lying around. Yeah, let's see if we can put the statue back together. Alright, Apollo, you come over here and prosecutor Gavin, if you could hold this. Wow, not bad, actually. We did it! Not bad if I do say so myself! Yeah, but don't you think it's strange? We put the statue back together, but look. What's with all these leftover white pieces? Hmm, these two look like they go together. And these pieces too! Um, Athena, what do you think you're doing? Don't stop me now! The, art the artist inside you wants to get out and have a good time! I'm using... what? Huh? Huh? Whoa! So that was the thing that we saw in the, uh, whatchamacallit. See? I was wondering what the heck this was supposed to be. Now we know. 
So, what is it? Ah, it's the goddess of law holding a pair of scales in one hand and a sword in the other. That's quite the feat you pulled off there, Fraulein. So considering you only had five freaking pieces and they didn't seem to... I have no idea how you managed to do that. Woo! I love that feeling you get if you work really hard on something. No, no, no. I know who it, who it is. I went to ask what it's doing here. Not sure. There's no statue like this in the stage plans. Still, I can swear I've seen the statue somewhere before. Lady Justice added to the court record. This is the statue of Clavier. This is this and the statue of Clavier were broken at the same time, but have been repaired. No one knows where it came from. No mention of Phoenix. Okay. The more we learn, the deeper the rabbit hole goes. At least we're moving in the right direction. Let's keep searching the stage for clues. I've been wondering about something this whole time. You know that pole at the at the edge of the stage? You you mean this? It has a wire that goes off and connects to something to something somewhere. Huh. Let's examine this first. An impressive building fit for an impressive school. Yeah, those beautiful walls are like a big blank canvas. See? My shepherds leave really distinct marks. Athena. Hey, cut that out before you get us in trouble. <laughs> Oops, I examine. This fire is for hanging banners over the stage. One of the policemen who was here earlier was checking how it worked. Oh! Oh, so that's why the, why the banner looks like it's out of place. The banners are hung and removed from the art room over there. That's the art room over there? As in the scene of the, scene of the crime? Bingo, Fraulein. It's still crawling with cops, though. Hey! Anyone in the art room? Gavin, or not Gavin. Oh, it's you people! <laughs> and just as we trust! Oh, it's Detective Fulbright! And just as we trust! Is that some kind of... Is, is that some kind of greeting? Is that... Is that some kind of greeting between you two? Detective Fulbright! Can you lower that banner from there? Of course, just leave it to me! How's that? <coughs> Ooh. Thanks, Detective! And just as we trust! Ha ha ha! Always glad to help! And just as we trust! So, is that some kind of greeting between you two or not? Well, let's get the banners down now. Let's go take a look. Look at this banner. I don't think it would flap very well in the wind. Yes, those sound effects are necessary. An unflappable banner? Hey, I like that! It goes perfect with unflappable lawyers and unflappable rockers! It's like it was made for this very stage! Look at this. The bottom part is all knotted up. Let me try and unravel it. A hand! It's a hand! Jeez, dude, you really- Did you really have to? You don't- You can't- You will come across an unflappable banner every day! Athena, there are some things that have to yield to force it beyond themselves. What a cruel world we live in! Hey, a scrap of paper was caught up inside! It's blowing away! I got- I got it! Yes! Great catch, huh? October, Hugh 120. Looks like looks like some kind of note. Note. What does it say? October, Hugh 120. What's that supposed to mean? Who knows? But we'll find out in the next episode. Awkward pies. 